Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so this is a fun Bolo video I thought I would do. Now that's weird Bolo video. As you can see over here, it's going to be a weird one. So stay tuned. All right. Um, Facebook groups, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Check out the description of the video. You can get all that down there. Follow me. Facebook groups are awesome. If you want more bolos, I post links and you can go in and check out and see what, um, what things are selling for. Buy low, sell high, be on the lookout. That's what I do. Um, check out my other videos. I've got tons and tons and tons of bolo videos. I love bolos. I'm learning, trying to get out of clothing. So research, research, research. And I will tell you it's paying off. So if you watch and listen and pay attention and keep it all up here, you're going to make money and learn also. All right, let's get started now. I don't think anybody is going to find this bolo. If you have found it, ever sold it, or do find it in the future, come back to this video and comment below because I want to know about it. It's pretty funny. All right, here we go. 100% human dreadlock hair, folks. There you go. There you have it. Bolo, dreadlocks, human dreadlock hair. This sold for $202.50 with 25 bids. Okay, you're all saying, no way, that's not true. Go to Solds and look up dreadlocks. You will be amazed. This is not a fluke. This is a bolo. This is an item to be on the lookout for. So if you know a hairdresser, tell them you want the dreadlocks of anybody's hair that they cut because it's a bolo. I don't know what, I mean, do people like attach them to their head? What do people do with these? Does anybody know why anyone would want to buy human dreadlock hair? I'm guessing there's a way to maybe attach them to your hair and then, I don't know. Does anybody know? Help me out. Comment below. I know that somebody in the group that is watching this will know the answer. $202, guys. Now watch this one. A toilet water bottle. Okay, so this one's jadeite. It kind of makes sense. But what on earth do you want something that says toilet water? I don't know. I found that kind of interesting. But this sold for $6. Hundred and twenty four dollars. What? Thirty six beds. Seriously, now that is weird. The next item. Yep, human hair braid extensions. To me, I just think this is kind of gross, but apparently, people collect hair braids. Yes, I said hair braids. So oftentimes people will go and get their hair cut and they donate their hair. But this, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I can't say for sure. But these sold for $86, guys, 21 bids. Hairdressers that are resellers, keep this in mind. So the next time somebody comes in for a haircut, be like, do you mind if I braid your hair before I cut that off? And if they don't want to donate it, you can sell it on eBay. Now that is weird. All right, what's the next item? Okay, so this is a ceramic crocodile gooseneck desk lamp. And yes, it is weird. $165, only had one bid, but hey, that's all it takes. So. Definitely be on the lookout for weird and different items. Yes, now that is weird. Oh my goodness, that looks kind of real. Ah! That is weird. So I want you guys to watch the entire video and in the comments, I want you to tell me which bolo you thought was the weirdest, okay? This sold for $202.50. These are foam sculpture prop heads. Yes, probably not something we're all gonna find, but hey, you never know. This is kind of a fun video. I'm not expecting everybody to go out and find these items at a garage sale. All right, 
Now this is a little weird also. This is a puzzle glass bottle with a wooden arrow and it's folk art, pretty cool. It's weird, it's different, it's unique, not as fun as the others, but it's still sold for $86 with 19 bids. Oh boy, these dentures are false teeth, vintage, antique. I don't know what's going on up here, why it looks like that. That is weird. Yuck, 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 yuck. I know that people sell these dentures for big money, but I would have to wear gloves. And this is a dental display and it sold for $61 with two bids. And the store, the store name is Humor Guy. It's kind of funny. Then now that is weird. <laughs> Vintage Chinese Buddha with open mouth with teeth. <laughs> I don't know, guys, this video was kind of fun and it was really kind of hard to find um, a whole lot of weird bolos for you guys. But definitely be on the lookout for things that, you know, are just different and unique and I guess you call it weird. This sold for $665 with five bids. That is weird. I'm gonna say that for everyone. I'm, you guys are gonna be like, she is annoying. Anyhow, um, we know why this sold. It's because of the gold. Um, again, another on my yuck detector. I'm just kind of grossed out by things that have been in people's mouths or on their feet. But um, I suppose, you know, gloves and then do a little wash, sanitize it. I would sell it. I'd do it, but I'd have to have on gloves. $504.99 this sold for, and I'm guessing that's mostly for the dental scrap. Yeah, okay, so this is a rare vintage sawfish taxidermy bill blade. Super cool. Again, hard to find, but I wanted to share it because it is you guessed it, weird. So it sold for $355 with nine bids. These are like cool weird, I guess. Um, they're baby rattles. Never seen anything like them. They are a little weird. I mean, you gotta admit, a little strange. Uh, they are antique silver and bone, and they sold for $130 with nine bids. Huge collection of denture, false tooth, dental fake teeth. Yeah, that's weird. So I, I don't really have much to say about this one, but I thought it was cool. It sold for $102, $102.50 with eight bids. And yeah, I'm guessing the seller paid shipping because it's calculated, or the buyer paid shipping. Now that is weird. Okay, so these are deer teeth and they're on a ring. Hmm, a little strange, but it is kind of pretty, but they're deer teeth. How on earth did the person know that those were deer teeth? I wouldn't have thought those were deer teeth. I probably would have thought they were pearls, <laughs> knowing me. But anyhow, sold for uh, US approximately 83 50 or $83.71, $83.71 with one bid. Mack trucks. Now, this is not very weird because we all know that these trucker hats are going for big money. What is weird is the condition of the hat. You can see here all of the foam has com completely deteriorated and I don't know what that is but it's in bad shape and it sold for $61 with 12 bids. So definitely don't dismiss a hat if it looks like that. People will still buy them and I think they restore them and fix them up. Now that is weird. Okay, this is a toilet seat and it has a bunch of pennies in it. Trying to get my zoom to work here. It's not working. So you can see the actual seat. And there are others that have sold. This is definitely a bolo. This went for $94.99. Only had one bid, but sometimes that's all you need. Um, I think I saw some with bills, like money, like dollar bills. I don't know if they were dollars or other increments of money, but 
These look to be all 1973 pennies. How cool is that? This one is a little strange also. I'm trying to find, I thought that this had, uh, I might, I may have it mixed up with a different one. So this is just an old salvaged oak toilet seat. It's vintage. And this sold for $89. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, another item that's kind of on my gross list. I would wear gloves. Toilet seats are just, duh. This one looks pretty clean though. Now that is weird. Vintage French bone handle, boar bristle, toothbrush, box of six. Weird. <clears throat> I don't know how they know it's bone and boar bristle, but kind of interesting, definitely weird. Three bids sold for $56.50. Now that is weird. I don't know why you would want a hair dryer shaped like a gun, but this sold for $250. So it is definitely a be on the lookout. And there were other, it's even got a holster. There were other solds, high solds for the same item. So this is definitely a bolo, maybe something you could find thrifting or at a garage sale. So definitely be on the lookout for the hair dryer that looks like a revolver. Yep. That is weird. The next item is this uh, angler's license. I don't know, is that, I know I've seen fishing license. I think this is a fishing license from 1936. Um, let's see, three day license. Yep, it's a fishing license. I already knew that these go for big money. I have not seen one in Maryland yet, but this one sold for $2,247.22. Now, I know that fishing license pins are bolos. I think it's Pennsylvania that has a lot of them. So if you're in Pennsylvania, be on the lookout, like uh, estate sales or garage sales. But if you're in Maryland, also be on the lookout because this sold for huge money and the condition on this one looks to be really really good so that probably increased the value but what that sold for that is weird that anybody would pay that for that let's look at how many unique bidders were on this and what they started the auction out so there are eight okay i have an offer on an item i just listed this for auction at nine dollars and 99 cents so I'm guessing it's probably a lower offer, but I'm gonna check it out. But eight bidders on this, they started the auction at $45. So I'm guessing they probably didn't know what they had. But look at the feedback of the people that are bidding on this item. I mean, this is some big feedback. So these are hardcore bidders. There's no zero. So this is not like, what do you call it? Um, people always say money laundering. This is not money laundering, guys. This is a legit, bolo now that is weird captain hook pez dispenser okay so this one's kind of it's it's a no feet I, I don't know what's going on down here at the bottom it's a little strange i don't know if this is just like a pez holder dispenser maybe i don't know i don't know if they're selling that with this or if they're just using it as a display this sold for $2,247, guys, 21 bids. Um, I'm gonna go and look at this too because that is a really high one. Pez No Feet, definitely a good bolo. This one had eight bids, 21 unique bids. Again, you can see that these there's one with zero feedback that was at $500 and I'm guessing that's probably just somebody who was looking for this item and were, was willing to go to $500, which I think is crazy for a Pez dispenser. But all of these people went up to $2,247. And if you look, show automatic bids, you can see it's just crazy. Crazy what people will pay for no feet Pez dispensers that are vintage and what they're looking for. Definitely hardcore collectors out there, be on the lookout. Vintage Rare Giggly Eyes Monster Plush Mad Balls from Cleveland. Yeah, 
So if you guys have heard of the like their balls and they're called mad balls and they have the weird faces, those are also a bolo. This is the first plush I've seen. So I wanted to share it. This sold for $1,550. Definitely be on the lookout for plush mad balls. That is weird looking. Okay, these are weird. These are vintage wooden dolls, handmade, hand painted. Denmark, uh, there's only three photos. I'm guessing the seller had no idea what they have um, or had. Let's see what they wrote down here in the description. Things like this, like I would, I would not see those and think those were valuable. Hand painted, handmade, measuring seven inches in height. I am being told these are Bajesian by K Bajesian, so I wanted to add that. I'm wondering if these would have went for a lot more money if that would have been in the title because they added that after it probably had a bid. Let's look in here and see. They started the auction out at $4.90. Oh my goodness, I bet this seller was super duper excited. Ah! And only four unique bidders, but 28 bids. And you can see again, high, well, this only has 76, but some of the others, 862, 1244, you know, they're not new buyers. These are people that have been buying or selling on eBay for some time. So pretty cool bolo there. And that concludes this video. So what do you guys think? I'm going to try and maybe get this to blow up so I can talk to you for a minute. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. Weird, weird, weird. I think that my favorite, most weird item in the whole video were the braids. I love the braids. That is weird. Anyway, comment below with which item you think is the most weird. And if you have sold any of the items that I showed, please share down below what the item in the comments, what the item was, what you sold it for, and what you paid it for, because this video is awesome. Now, I also want to do another video called Now That Is Weird, but I want to get um, items from members of my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Twitter, or my YouTube followers to send me their weird bolos. So dig into your store. If you've got a weird one, join my Facebook group down below and send me a private message with a link to the item that sold. And hopefully I can get like 15 or 20 together from people in the group or that watch this channel. And I can put together like a video from you guys. I think that would be cool. It might be a little hard, it might not happen, but I would love to do it. So if you got one, PM me on Facebook. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, comment below with your favorite um, weird uh, eBay, one of the ones I did, which one you thought was the weirdest? Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked here, thinking about other stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Before I stumble over my words anymore, have a good evening. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.